My name is Luke Putukno. I'm a student at uh, Business Informatics at RTU. Today uh, I will present my thesis on process mining methods for analyzing user patterns of enterprise applications. I will start with talking about the agenda. Uh, as it follows, I will first explain the motivation of the thesis and uh, aim at the tasks of the thesis, and then the, I will explain you the theoretical background of process mining. Uh, and the process mining itself, then my practical part, I will follow with a case study that includes two analyses. The motivation of the thesis is that uh, business processes are always open for improvement, as we already know. And process mining stands out as a technique that models the, that models the processes as they actually are. As process mining takes its roots from, takes it, uh, as process mining uses event logs to, to model the processes, it actually uh, models it as, as it is. There's no, sub, there's no subject, uh, there's no human uh, subjective point of it. Analyzing usage patterns with process mining can help to uh, improve enterprise application in terms of user interaction, which I just said. Uh, process mining takes uses event logs, so it is actually what users has already done on the system. So using that information to model the processes uh, provide a subjective an objectivity to the to the model. The aim of the thesis is to demonstrate uh, an application of process mining on the e platform of Figure Technical University in order to improve the user adaptation and customization of the system. We will uh, so basically we will try to we will try to demonstrate how process mining can be used for Ortus. The secondary aim of the thesis is to investigate the correlation uh, between Ortus usage and uh, study results. If, or if using Ortus more it, it improves the study results of the students better or not. The task to, to reach this aim is to explain the process mining background and technique and. Uh, investigate improvement scenarios as, it, as it's the first analysis and the second analysis will be the correlation analysis to find out if there's a correlation between system usage and the study results. Process mining bridges data mining and actually process mining. It takes its technical roots from process mining in terms of its algorithms and so on. Not, not exactly, but similarly. And it takes it, it take, it's, it relies on process mining in terms of the idea of it. It's used in some, in somewhat uh, the same for the same reasons, like redesigning and planning, and so on. So process mining is the bridge between data mining and process modeling. The models that are created by process mining is used with the same reasons as process mod uh, traditional uh, business process management. Uh, the, only dif the, the main difference here is that the, that in traditional uh, BPM, the models are made by hand are not and are not based on rigorous analysis of existing process process data, but on process mining, it's based on the existing data. Process mining, as I said before, technically relies on data mining, but however, uh, data mining is a data-centric uh, technique. On the other hand, process mining is process-centric. So in process mining, the aim is to create a model, to uh, discover a model. In data mining, the aim is to find association rules and explain, the, the end result of data mining is usually like a decision tree or a, a list of rules. So the association rules, but on the other hand, process map in the process mind, the end result is a discovered process, a process model. I mean. So this is uh, this picture is taken from the process mining manifesto. This is where they they explain the types of uh, process mining. So there are three types: discovery, conformance, and enhancement. So let's start with soft process. And it's basically an enterprise application. With the, with the world that interacts, they, they control and support each other. 
and as in almost all the enterprise applications, every uh, transaction or message is recorded in the event logs, and these event logs can be used uh, to create the process model for discovery, conformance, and enhancement reasons. Yeah. There are, uh, these are purely process mining phases, but before this, just like in every process modeling technique, the, the main thing is, is to understand it and understand the business domain and the, and the background of the processes. And, and actually, that's something that goes on through all the phases. And it, 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 it always is there, doesn't it? You don't really understand it for a while, just you always get back there time, time and time again. So extracting and converting the data, process mining, process mining softwares need uh, the, the event of in e XES format. So while converting the data, converting that in my case, for example, the Ortus format, or Ortus files, or Ortus event logs were extracted in Excel file. So there's a need to define each column, what, what it actually is, is a timestamp, resource, activity column, whatever. So that, that's how the data is converted. And choice of process discovery algorithm, I will explain this in better in my case study part, but there are um, more than one process discovery algorithm, so, so finding the most suitable one is, is a key point. And it's usually a try and fail uh, kind of approach to find the, the best one. Uh, process discovery, well, the, the, the model itself, that the, the, which is the end result of the algorithm, and, and analyzing this discovery uh, process as, as, an, as this process and modeling it, and model, like redesigning it as a to be process is the, usually the idea. There are more than uh, these two software tools. The reason why I singled out these two is that ProM is the main framework, is the framework, is the software for process mining, and Disco is the one that I mainly used in my uh, in my thesis. Disco is actually a, a commercial tool, which is not uh, as wide as ProM. No tool is as wide as ProM because it, it has a plugin architecture and has over 400 plugins. It, ProM can do anything that can be done in process mining. However, Disco is uh, a limited, but if your scope is right. In its scope, then, then it's the it's a very easy to use tool. However, it's uh, commercial; it's not free to use. But that's why uh, we joined as an RTU to their academic initiative, thanks to my supervisor, Professor Jens Graf. Uh, we joined their academic initiative, so anyone who has an RTU email address can have an academic copy of uh, this code software by Flexcom Group. So in my case study, I will talk about the, the application of process mining on our Autos e-learning platform in order to improve the customization and user adaptation uh, opportunities. In order to find those opportunities. So as I said before, there will be two analyses. One is, uh, I will explain the improvement scenarios. And the second analysis will be a basically a correlation analysis between Ortus usage and the study results to see if, uh, if students who use Ortus more are actually getting better grades or not. The first analysis, the aim of the first analysis is to find the scenarios where Ortus uh, adaptation and customization can be improved. This is the flow chart of the analysis, how it, will, how it went on. You know. Or data collection, organizing the data. As you can see, reviewing Ortus processes is together, well, together with using the, together with the data retrieved and converted, and reviewing the Ortus processes, we choose the process discovery algorithm. And then, uh, and then there we have a kind of a loop here because inspecting the discovered model, if model is sufficient, well, it, it depends on it, exactly which scenario you in my case, exactly the scenario I was looking into. So maybe I need only the data from the course owner, course owner's activity. So I need to filter the data and return to ins inspecting this code model again. So it's basically a loop there. 
and basically the end suggesting process improvements.